It's too early, dude. I'm gonna go for a walk. We'll be back for this. I'm gonna get a head start on the day. But it's gonna be really fucking cold outside. If I'm be out for the cold, I might as well see the sunrise. I feel like that should just change your whole day up, dog. Like waking up with the sun. Nobody else is awake right now. Less brain waves being sent out, you know what I mean? Motherfuckers are sleeping still. They sleeping, we're out here catching worms. So that's what we're gonna do. Catch some worms. <laughs> <laughs> early in the morning. All right, back. It's much later. I stopped and got a coffee. I don't even normally drink coffee. Let's see. 5.5. Mm -hmm. Thirty shots. Told him hold this. I got a bag in my mind. Move to keep it real. Only ever young and talking my type of shit is done. Cute. Flex showing what a bomb do. It's unlocked. <laughs> Nice. It's unlocked, you just can't get in? No, I was hitting the button. What up? What up, dog? I'm out here, I'm in here. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, nothing. Welcome back, you. Bitch, I'm in here. <laughs> you going snowboarding this week? We can. I need to... Yeah, we can go snowboarding, but we leave Thursday. I know, I was, so, that was the next question. The girl's really nice, like, I got to talk to her on the phone. Finally. Actually, I yeah. heard her an Australian accent, which, funny enough, Called me. <laughs> Which Japan usually was doesn't. Not. Yeah. yeah, I was like, fuck it, these people are driving me crazy. Sorry, these people, but yeah. <laughs> um, in Japan, it's a whole different story. But anyway, being bougie and shit, I was like, look, we can't fly coach. Like, it's too yeah. far. It's a four and a half hour flight. Maybe this morning, I'm like, hey, I need an itinerary just so I can put everything in my fucking calendar. And she's like, here it is, boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, cool. And Fern, there's like no tickets. She's like, oh fuck. Then she sends me the ticket and it's coach. No, we both need an upgrade. Like we both need to be in the same cabin. We're traveling together. Like it's silly. Are you gonna pay the difference? And I was like, yes, as I said last week. I'm yeah. Like, now it's been a weekend's past. Yeah. So she's like, well the upgrade's like seven hundred dollars. Jesus I was Christ. Like, Are you fucking kidding me? I could just, I could sit in coach. <laughs> no, you know, we just finesse some shit around and move some shit around. Sorry, but we both travel a lot. And she's like, no, I totally get it. She's like, I won't go anywhere if it's not Delta first class. And I'm like, fuck, you know what time it is. We can go, I just don't know which day, and it just depends on what it, I just, yeah. I hadn't seen you, so I don't know what was going on or what needed to be done. Or What needs to be done is basically, Brandy and I gonna get in. They got a process done and right. ordered the clothes. It was like Why Thursday. Well, cause there's, there's one other issue with it. Hold on. So, I don't, know why you, I don't know why you turned the camera off. It's not like someone else edits it. That's <laughs> true, but I didn't want to waste the conversation. Traveling, dude. Yeah. Uh, thank you for those noise canceling headphones. You're welcome. The fucking douchebags behind me on the plane, I've never in my life. It's so scary. It's just self drive. Sorry, it's just yeah. self driving right now, and I'm still even <laughs> like, yo, is this it. thing gonna stop? This is um, blank hour. <laughs> We were flying out of Jersey, but let me tell you, man, Jersey, stereotype. I mean, these dudes were That's straight, hometown, straight off the Jersey Shore. That's your hometown. You're talking about turning on your home, but so you made it out the hood, so now you just turn it on. Dude, fuck them. Let me tell you, for the, the, I could hear them getting on the plane all loud. And they could just, probably hear you right now, loud ass <laughs> motherfucker, peeking in that mic. See, I still have the loud in me yeah, from Jersey. Yeah. These dudes, they're just, they're talking to the point where they want everyone to hear their combos and like think that they're cool. I mean, dude, some of the misogynistic shit. I can't believe that nobody on United did anything. Everyone could hear him. The old lady across the aisle, everyone within a fucking six row. I got it. Everybody can hear him. We got Just it. the worst, the worst human yeah. beings on earth. From start till finish, did not stop talking. Four and a half straight hours. They weren't like, Drunk, they were just yeah. more obnoxious as who they are as human beings. I told my wife to cook, and it's like, yo, if she's not cooking and I'm paying the bills, and what is this bitch doing? It's just like, Jesus Christ. They're talking about skiing and money. Like, yeah, man, you know, I, I would like go to like Canada. A bunch of dudes just coming out for a ski trip. Yeah, yep, to Aspen. And they were getting on a private flight Makes in Denver sense. to Aspen. Makes sense, though. Yeah, it looked were they in first class? Yeah. No. Private Wearing Wrangler flight. fucking jeans and shit. Private it, flight. Dude, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what he was saying. festival shit. The best part God is... God damn, I just missed my fucking eggs and listening to your goddamn oh, shit. Don't oh, fucking look at me. This is your fault. I'm listening to your story, my dude. I didn't miss an exit for any other reason. Well, wait, so horrible, these people. Yeah. And then I hear them go, fuck, the flight's delayed. Like, by the time we get there, we only have 10 10 minutes to catch our flight. Hopefully people let us off the plane oh, first. Yeah, right. Not this guy. Oh, no. I stood right in front of him. I was like, oh, I got a, I got a flight to catch too. Sorry, man. Oh, that was my one shot you, to get uh, back at him. Did they miss their flight? I don't know. They took off running. The you minute- followed them to make sure they missed it. I 
Jewish. I hated the conclusion. <laughs> I, I, Especially I, since you didn't have anywhere to go. That's true. I, hate, I was like, I cannot believe this. I, I cannot believe that it's nobody... Oh, no. Oh, lost. Funny enough, same airport. I left my headphones no, on the plane. Left on oh, airport. no. And I had to go back. I was like, can you call and see if I left? Because I'm pretty sure I just left them in the seat, you know? When yeah. She, yeah, let me call down there, blah, blah, blah. She calls. She's like, yeah, they have them for you. But you have to go back through security. And I was oh. like, are you fucking kidding me? Have They just give me like a little pass. So there's yeah. no first class or no, anything. Yeah. Left. The oh, line is like wrapped all the way around. <laughs> oh, hell no. And I just so I just walked through the first class area to the in customer service feet, line where they're going to have left on my shit. Yeah. There's another line. And I was like, God damn. Oh my God. It's like, just after I just flew seven from Japan. Hours yeah. Or whatever, uh, I just skipped that line too. Just walk right to the front. Now Y'all got my headphones? Like, yeah, we street. got you. So I got him back, but I was super bummed. About to take the $400 L. I was like, I'm not even going to check. I mean, I'm going to yeah. have them. They did. I broke the curse because I always lose my fucking headphones. There. Yeah. yeah. You really do. Almost yeah. every time. Fuck. Fuck Dre beats, by the way. Now that I have these, I'm, tell you, don't. I'm done with those beats. They fall out my ear. I'm back to using just regular ear pods in the gym. But So you're just a walking maniac now. That was... Dude, I'm... <laughs> I know you've been. Exit. Oh, no. <laughs> this makes no sense. You can't go back. <laughs> it's taking us back on the... Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, we got time. I don't even care if we're late. Sorry, sons. Maybe buy this car, then they drop the fucking price next week. Did they? <laughs> yeah. I don't care. I just want to give a shit when we get there. Um, yeah, I am a walking maniac. But I realized that it's not about the walk. Someone asked me, like, Yo, are you losing weight? Uh, it's like not about fitness or whatever. No, I like, get that. It feels good to go walk. It balances itself out automatically. Yeah. What I, what I figured out, it quiets my brain. Like when I wake up, yeah. the best analogy I've come up with is just like, 10 TVs that have been turned on all at the same time. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta turn all these TVs off. Normally what I do in my life is I just sit there quiet and just like work, turn the TVs off slowly. So when someone says something to me or bothers me or whatever, like I, I'm quicker to just be like, yo, shut the fuck up. Yeah. There's already 10 TVs on. What the fuck yeah. are you doing? Making all this noise. Take this right. Can't, you can't hear the fucking TVs. You know what I mean? Yeah. You think it's just a quiet ass room. Cause I'm being quiet, but I like just leave the house, don't talk to anybody, yeah. just get the fuck out of the house. It just gives me time to turn all the TVs off. Makes no everything all better in general. I like it because it just slows shit down. You see so much more shit. Like when you walk that run on Broadway, it's like you see buildings that you don't even realize are there. Yeah, but like, then you get bored of seeing it. Yeah, I guess. I can't be looking at shit. Like I don't even look at anything. I don't listen to nothing. I just like. Really? No music? Oh, fuck all that shit. What the fuck I want to hear yeah, I guess somebody else's shit for? Hear like, by the way, like music is sad, Jules. Yeah. All this shit is just feeding into something bigger. Everything. Oh, here's my shit. song about. Yeah. Good. Gucci, whatever. Yeah. Like, it's just all feeding the slime. I'm just over it. It makes me sad. People are celebrating. I get sad now. I'm like, damn. Why? Because there's other people not celebrating or because it's fake celebration? I'm confused. I think it's just empty. The sense of individual Lism yeah. that people are searching for. Purchasing something is the easiest way to do that. Yeah. It's not easy to sit down and like create something or make something or just like stand out as an individual. You know what I mean? But to buy something is like the fastest way. The fastest it's just getting us. Okay. What the they want us to get all the way right and they're looping us back on the highway to get off at the right exit. Just know that I'm just following the yeah. map. No, now the map is looping us. I'm gonna give you that. It looped us to get on to loop us. This is my life though, usually. It's because you got in the car. It is. It's just the vibe. Shit. Lost already. Then take your fucking Hemi Dodge small dick ass up the fucking road that my G Super Dewey can fucking have fun taking your wife's groceries off. Have you seen that Murder Mountain documentary yet? No. Never Whatever. Heard of it. It's about Humboldt County. All the murders and disappearance people up there with all the weed shit, but okay. like, yeah. Some shady shit. Oh yeah, dude. I've been there. I, I don't, my man had to stop at the same lane. So I don't pull up. Pull up next to you on some shit, son. Excuse like me, it. sir. How's that Hemi feel? Yeah, how's that Super Duty? How's all that gas you're using in that yeah. fucking vintage car? By the way, the Tesla's got to go in for a checkup again tomorrow. Or <laughs> is it like a regular one? No, or? the screen's blinked out like twice. They didn't find anything wrong with it the first time. Yeah. And literally pulled off the parking lot and it starts blanking out more and more and more. And it's like, bro. What yeah. the fuck? Hopefully it's fucked. Like, super fucked. And they're like, oh yeah, it's super fucked. Oh, that lemon law shit's gonna have you fucked up, dog. And then we're gonna sign a new contract for a cheaper car. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll do that anyway. No, I don't think that that's how it works. It always helps. 
Don't do it. Now turn left uh, onto Spear uh, Boulevard. Uh, 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 there you go, bitch. Well, so we leave Thursday. Yeah. Morning. Yeah. And then what are we there? The whole weekend? So here yeah, so here's what we gotta do. I don't think I'm gonna be able to tattoo. Like mad people want me to tattoo. I might do a couple of spoiler dragons like on the low. Green screen to tattoo. Yeah, we shop should do that you, actually. Dude. So like undisclosed. So the event is on the ninth, then we gotta figure out how to get to fucking Jay. Because we're gonna see Jay on the tenth. He's like five hours away. I didn't realize it was hell. Rent far. a car, I'll drive. So I'll I was thinking we were there, road trip, I guess. We rent a car or we fly. The flight is gonna be faster, but then we're fucked because we're wherever the hell. Yeah, he is. dude. We're, we're gonna be in some little ass. So what if airplane. we rent like a Lambo? Pull up to the prison. That would be great, but the thing is, Jay's not even gonna see it. We'll be I like, know, we got a not, Lambo outside. He'll be like, nah, it's you. It's not 4J. It's not 4J to see. But then I don't want to cause anyone problems. On the real shit, I don't want to cause anyone problems for me. They're like, oh, your family pulled up here in a Lambo. Well, yeah. Like, we have to drive up there. It'll be a lot more fun to drive. Okay. Let me look at Attica from New York City. So essentially, we basically have then, to wake up that morning, either early as shit or after the event that night. That's leave. probably what we'll do. Yeah. Wait, is this a charger? Slow down. I don't know if this is a. Fuck I'm it. an adapter. Yeah. Fuck it. And charge. We'll get the charge, and we get the closest parking in the building. Yeah. You know what? It's my treat. Oh yeah. But yeah. You know, shit. I haven't seen you in a while. I got you this dog. No. Floating cowboy hat. Oh come on! Are you fucking kidding me? Money, I have money on there. That's where all my. It's this fucking authorizing cowboy hat here. Uh, there's something wrong with it though. There's no way my card is money. You're going crazy. This is how you were all on the road too. A little bit. I gained like 12 pounds. I don't know if you can see it, but well, I did. I got you feeling some kind of way. No, fans do though. People always fucking comment. I just get things on my thing like, "Hey man, hey, bro, looking you fat." Show the other shit, I, you pick it up. You gotta put it down. I dog. know that's, that's why fine. I don't have talkers say anything. <laughs> it motivates me. That now I gotta, I gotta get back into it. Yeah, well, no, you're I was gonna ashamed. do it anyway. But you're gonna shame. Fuck the charge, I guess. We'll just park here with no charge. Set the, reset the router. <laughs> that's a network signal. Fuck it, we're out. Something inside of us proper. Wow, the fittest out here. Can't carry yourself. You can't carry yourself. <laughs> Snowy, shitty weather. The weather outside. <laughs> Up in Fogo to chat. Just the two of us. Just the two hey, of us. Hey! Yeah. 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 We've been in Japan. Back up in Fogo for lunch. It's been a long time, but we are here live at the salad bar. Live from the salad bar. Live from the salad bar. Oh, look at that mozzarella. They don't have the balls anymore. How was tour earned? Did you guys have any food like this? No. <laughs> I did eat, actually. Did I tell you that the guy thought I was valet in the steakhouse I went to? Nice. Someone went extra on the tomato. I'm taking the extra mozzarella. Oh no, there's the tomato. That looks delightful. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. I felt bad because I, you know, he's standing there with two set lists and like an idiot, like he thinks it's okay to just knock on the bus door and ask to get something signed. He's like, hey man, I, I got these two set lists. I, I just wanted to get them signed. I said, oh really? I go, let me see them. And he gives them to me, dude. Take them and I shut the door in his face. Like I just take them back on the bus and I start shutting the door and he, dude, I felt bad. This is a grown man like our age, sounding like a baby. He goes, please, please just give me back my set lists and I was like take your fucking set list and wait you're like recording everybody else. Surprise, yeah. You're recording this story. Yeah. I would have turned around a long time ago. <laughs> you're an asshole. Yeah, I was like, and you could wait with everybody else. And then I just threw it back and slammed the door. I was going to rip it. I'm not like a complete dick, but sure. it was the fourth person to knock on the bus door that no one knocks on bus doors. No ever. one. No, but no it's like, one. <laughs> don't ever. Don't ever. First fucking rule of the road. Don't knock on the bus I mean, door. how else are they supposed to get your attention? Dude, could you imagine if you knock on a bus door of some like go knock on fucking like 21 Savages bus what door? Someone's gonna come out and fucking fuck you up uh, because Look, dudes have big let's do it again. Look, blacked out. There, we're recording this for you, Tesla, since y'all don't believe us. I'm in reverse, but it still works. Look, I put it in park and it's fine. But how do you even know what it's in? Because I just, I mean, my foot's off the brake. But I mean, what if it was in drive and you thought and you hit this wall because you we can't see the window to the wall. Let me put my seatbelt on. Buckle up, baby. Well, that was a good story. I'm trying to think. There wasn't. I don't have too much crazy, funny things that happened. I mean, we didn't get any footage from you, so. I know. You know, it's a weird spiral. Tried to blame me too. No. You told me my footage was crap, and I was like, I didn't say that. I said that you like don't send me the same shitty footage over and over again. Yeah. It's fine. I calmly explained to you. I'm like, for the record, dog. 
I don't want you to feel like that. I felt yeah, no, bad you did tell me. No, I, I, hold, let me finish my okay, own story. Okay. I don't need you to help. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I was like, for the record, man, I don't want you to feel like that, bro. I care about you. You're part of the vlog, man. You can send footage in whenever. I'll include it. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. My man trying to make me feel bad. I wanted my return to be epic. <laughs> it's epic. Yeah. Here it is. Yo, Here. I'm glad I didn't get any footage. Don't you shave that shit off your face? Oh my god. Street. You look so feet. bad. Turn what has he done to yeah, you? Yeah, you have no idea, dude. I hated it. And why did you do it? I get on a conference call with oh, the. Fucking Wait, no, because this is the best. Because I do some work for the. They're like, oh. Actually, and do actually, me a favor, blank out. Because right. I don't want people to, right, right, like, right. I don't want this urn to be associated yeah, with that. Fantastic. I'm in a conference call and it's FaceTime with like eight people. I barely know these people. It is strictly business. They all start making fun of me. <laughs> the guy goes, holy shit, what is wrong with you? He goes, why would you do that? He goes, we all have beards in here. You look like, dude, I can't even look at you. Turn your camera off for the rest of the thing. <laughs> this is like a corporate meeting. Did you fuck this up? What? I did the usual. First, I went with the big, I went with the I went with the dirty urn spec. I went with the big goatee, dude, and I sent Brandy a picture. Oh, and then what happened? I had the mustache, and dudes on tour were like, keep the mustache for the rest of the tour, and I was like, I'll do it. Brandy would not FaceTime me dirty. Like, like I was like, I had a hotel for wait, the day. Wait, FaceTime you dirty? Yeah, like, you know, like, do dirty things and FaceTime. You ever do that? Yeah, but wait a second. <laughs> because of the stash. Like, wait, I'd look at her, and so she's wait, like, I'm not getting so naked. So you would call... I can't believe you just said this with the camera on. But <laughs> you would call to have FaceTime. Time sex, yes. basically. And she'd deny this me. This is a bombshell. Yeah, and because. she would deny me. She'd be like, I'm not doing a goddamn thing as long as that mustache is on your face. And then, of course, when I fucking shave the mustache. No FaceTime Yeah, sex. she's like, you look just as fucking weird. <laughs> so then that was it for the trip. This is amazing. This yeah. is a bombshell. You, you must have felt like, you're like, man, I have been on the vlog in a while. I better drop some real juicy. No. You're like Chloe Kardashian. No, I don't know why. I don't know, yeah, dude. Neither. That's amazing. Yeah, you look like shit. But what's funny about that, though, is that she has like a celebrity crush on someone that looks equally just like that. Who, by the way, we're going to see backstage on the 20th at the fucking Gothic Theater. Nice. Have yeah. Fun. Different for us because. Why are you yelling? I don't know, I'm always yelling. Because I'm from Jersey. Obviously, because I'm from fucking Jersey. These, These Jersey people were loud as shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, at lunch, everybody in there was like, I'm in this thing, I'm just letting people do what they do. <laughs> Someone comes and punches you in the face with me and says, I'm like, yo, I've been telling it for years, dog. I just gave up. I'm like one of those old dudes who just gave up. I'm like, no longer fighting. I gave up. I'm standing there in the wind like this, like, bracing myself for years and finally I was like, why don't I just turn around? I <laughs> turned around, oh, look, the wind helps move me forward. All right, That's fuck amazing. these people. <laughs> it's like, done. Done yell at the oh. path. Look, it went out again. Look at that shit. Look, I don't know where I'm going now. Yeah, keep going straight. Their info bombshells can I drop before oh, I get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it all out. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I want to make ramen at home from scratch, like make the noodles and everything. Oh, fuck yeah. A couple of ingredients you need because you got to do some special shit with the pH balance. To really? Get the ramen right. Yeah, I've been looking into it. Ooh. Any good new music? Fuck music, man. Music's oh, yeah, you sad. just said that. It's not nothing good. I listened to New Currency and Wiz, I didn't like that. It's just like New Two Chains? Fuck Two Chains, dog. LeBron's fucking A and R and the whole thing. I do think the funniest shit ever though. Wait, is he? He's an A and R for the whole album. You haven't seen this like marketing that they're doing Ron sitting there with a pencil and a pad. Like, Get the you know fuck the face out. when they play the like, hi hats people do? Like the, yeah. the hi hat Bill Cosby face. Yeah. The best part is, is that the Lakers are fucking losing. <laughs> so it's got all these memes and shit and videos of Lakers are eight, in eighth place in the national <laughs> championship. Real checking with LeBron. LeBron's just like a and in the fucking album. This That's is so good. fucking funny. Dog. Randy said it was too much God preachy shit for her. I, I haven't listened to the whole thing, but when she said that, I'm like, When he oh. fucking jumped out the window calling Nike out for the shoe, saying that they copied his album artwork, when literally all of his album artwork is already stolen from just like niblet drawers. It's like, it's basically like hipster niblet drawers. Drawings. Like people who can't draw, who like draw a beer bottle with XXX on it. Yeah. It's all like wonky. And they yeah. had some girl named Cassandra's fucking hand poke it into their thigh because they wanted to get a fucking tattoo in their dorm room. Apparently, 
he either thought it was inspired or someone told him it was inspired by it. And he made an Instagram post like, one of y'all, y'all one of my favorite brands. I need y'all to reach out because y'all bit my style. And it's like, bro, come on. On tour, but the same day that his album comes out. Oh, get it, son. Nice, nice. Good Samaritan. Huh? Good Samaritan. Colorado's full of white dudes in Patagonia <laughs> that'll fucking do some shit for you. That's me. Welcome to Colorado. Every time you see the guy that strangled the fucking cub yeah. on the running track. And they oh my out. god, and now the world is mad at that. Are they? Because he strangled it? Came out that it was a kitten cub. Yeah, it it's like, still a 40 pound yeah, fucking yeah. animal tearing I at your like face. I just like sitting there in like all Patagonia. He's like, well, I was jogging. I'm like, this dude looks so Colorado. <laughs> now he's walking around REI feeling like the king of God's earth because yeah. he choked out a fucking tiger. I'm glad they released that it was a baby because they would bring yeah. him down a notch. Like, how dare he? And it's like, um, yeah, it's you should still... have let, let him kill it. <laughs> yeah, well, you should just you should let, let him kill himself. Yeah, you're like running from it, and you're like, you know what? He looks I shouldn't young. have been here. I just should I shouldn't have been here. Sometimes you take a wrong turn that you can't turn around on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this is the end game. He's like, yeah, got the, the Alex Jones game. podcast. He's like, you know what my end game is? <laughs> Stopping. He just gets mauled. Oh my God. And he's getting his intestines. He's like, oh, you're just a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have killed you anyway. There's yeah. been too much backlash on Reddit. What is this world coming to? <laughs> like I said, someone's uh, going to protest the suns. Yeah. Fuck the sun. The sun is an abomination. <laughs> I'm not registering. Whoa. Fix it. What's up? What you gonna do? Now back it up, back it up. Homie to homie. Come on, Abner. Get in, big guy. That's what this was. I saw Teddy playing with this. Whoa! That is dangerous. Could fuck you up with that thing. He lets it go. It comes fucking flying yeah, at you. Great. I like the Japanese uh, things. Here. No. Bring it. Omar, come here. Oh, shit. He knows that's the bad side. Yeah, but it's really for this. It's really to do this. Oh. Oh. Yeah. He would love that. Yeah, I think he would. It's Nerf? Nerf kills it with a golf You want to smoke a joint? I got one roll. I'll smoke a joint. Should we tell the people about how you got so concerned that I was going to bring this? I bought this to bring to Japan yes. to smoke hash. And Earn fucking lost it. And I'll go ahead and tell you my fucking theory about your CHS now, too. You were only concerned about your fucking weed intake. And you are freaking out because I kept talking about bringing weed to Japan. And you wanted to... Get yourself as far away from responsibility as possible. You essentially quit. Maybe subconscious. You essentially quit smoking weed the week before we went to Japan. So that if I got arrested in Japan with weed, you could be like, I don't even smoke weed. <laughs> that is <laughs> so, all. That maybe shit was. subconsciously, yeah, well, but. Did it consciously, but you definitely did. I don't know. That's maybe. Ran away in customs. You did tell me. You said, I'm going to tell you when we get back from yeah, Japan. Were... Look at my Instagram. I'm sober. I just take, sir, I just take bubble baths. I... And that's it. But this thing's actually pretty cool. I gotta do a review of it. This will be the biggest joint I've smoked in since before Japan. I've been rolling like on. The, I did see those the friends and family ones. Yeah, that's fucking dope. I haven't even put them on yet. They got dirt. So we're always wearing them around the office. So before you send these to Teddy, let me scuff them real quick. Cause fuck him. <laughs> fuck Teddy. Scuff Teddy. Are these real gummies or? They're really just gummy bears. Okay. Fire gummy bears from Sprouts. The best. They got the pink lemonade flavor. These are all stale because I left it open, but. So stale. It almost sounds crunchy. Yeah, stale, this looks sick, dude. I love. Oh, you can't, can't show that. Can that I love the workers. Don't love learning how to draw this thing piece by piece. That's so interesting. Oh my god. Wait, was I not recording that? I don't even know anymore. I forget it. Oh. I wish I got more of these. Also, I was telling him when we go back, I know all the ramen spots now. And when he says when we go back, he means next month. May. First. Shut up. It's a secure festival. I literally thought th that there was already a drawing on it. Mm, like handmade paper. What the fuck? Draw on I'm it? I'm going to. But then. And what? It's so confusing. Did the paper have a drawing on it? Y yeah, like if you. Like. Because <laughs> you don't just, want to ruin the paper. Yeah, but yeah, because. Are you it, unwrapping shit for Christmas right now? No. Nope. Save the paper. No, but if the paper gets completely drawn over, nobody will know what the paper really was. That's so profound. Is the paper really the paper once it's painted on? Yeah, I mean, is it the... Nice thing it and I would tell people that, though, about the sex FaceTime stuff, like online at the VIP meet and greet and shit. People would be like, what happened to the stash, dog? And I'm like, you try being on tour and FaceTiming your girl naked. It ain't happening with a mustache. This dude is on one. It's creepy and pervy. FaceTime sex is pervy enough. It is. Yeah. It is. It's surprising. You guys should just start your own, like, Cam sex channel. channel. Yeah. yeah. I mean, start really getting this money. He's pretty fucking pervy. I don't know. I mean, his name is Dirty Earn. <laughs>
I do remember some of the first conversations that happened in y'all's court, courtship, so yeah. It's true. Okay, camera off. <laughs> the day is winding on, as they say. My shoes haven't gotten here yet, which there's nothing really to review, because it's the same shoe as the Kith one that we talked about. Yes. Look at this dude. What is this position? What is this? Abner, what is he doing? What are you so ready for? What's out there, the mailman? The mailman? We got my fucking shoes. Probably gonna do a little doodling here and there. But I'm gonna clean this part of it. Actually, while we're doing that, I'm gonna roast up a round of shishito pepper. Brand new one. Might just put this one on there to save time and clean that one later. That one's not destroyed, it still works. But that's what fucking destroys them, I hear, is the uh, oil getting down in there through the holes, like it bubbling over and then settling, will destroy the atomizer. So taking like a large dab causes that. <clears throat> Let's just use a new one just to make life easier. Because this is easily clean, but I'd be careful and not get it all up in there. So I'm gonna clean that out too. Well, that's easy enough. Brand new ceramic bowl. So assembly is very easy. Atomizer, this just screws right back in. That's it. Like that's, that's fucking, that's, that's it. That's all. And this all comes apart too. You can clean all this. It literally just, uh, this out. This shit has wax all over it. All right, so we've got a couple of issues. So the order, friends and family order, well, all right. Friends and family, it's closed. Emails are going out for new members today. Uh, Ern is dealing with that. The last friends and family order, as well as the Mecca Gold order, is a little delayed. Everything is supposed to start shipping on Wednesday. It looks like it'll probably, well, some shit will start on Wednesday. Some shit is delayed, and we dealt with that today off camera. Um, but it looks like up to this point, we'll probably have it out by Thursday. Thursday, Friday. It's definitely all leaving by Friday or Zen Ted is gonna be gone. We should be good. I think we got it figured out, but that's definitely going on. And then the rest of the day is just chilling, whatever, whatever. I think I'm gonna actually, my energy levels seem to be like leveling out. It seems like I might be able to make it through the day without a nap. Clutch, because uh, this nap shit ain't practical really. It's fun, it's great, it's nice to be able to do it, but can't just like plan to sleep every day in the middle of the day, so. Shoes aren't here yet. I'm waiting on more free hikers because free hikers are life. Situating everything for New York. Getting ready to go out and show my brother JC some support. Shit rhyme, kinda. Uh, other than that, reg regular shit. Gonna learn how to make ramen tomorrow. One thing I have not discussed yet. I left one piece. I gotta go get it. Ah, there's also a lookbook coming for friends and family too. It's all coming. It's all happening. Life is still happening. The world is still spinning. But the Puffco Peak. So normally I take a dab out of a, a real rig. This nail is a little chaz, I'm sorry. Here, I'll just, normally you have to light this nail. You guys have seen it a million times. YouTube, you've demonetized me over and over for it. But torch, <sighs> nail, heat it for like 30 seconds to a minute, let it cool off, drop my dab in there, boom, boom, boom. This is a technically like a $2,500 pipe get cheap ones. There's a couple hundred dollar pipes around here. Anywhere from $60 to $60,000. This, Dream Labs, love this fucking pipe. Super functional, amazing. Not saying that this necessarily replaces this because I don't, I don't agree with that. Um, but <clears throat> this is the Puffco Peak. They're not paying me to show you this. I'm testing this thing heavy all weekend, like heavy testing. It's really fun doing these vlogs without knowing if you're in frame or not. Just Ah, heavy testing. I'll show you how it works real quick. Then we'll talk about the pros and the cons. If I like it, if I hate it, what have you, what not. Where the fuck is the wax, though? God damn, hold on. <sighs> All right, first and foremost. All right, main difference with this. This is basically like, this is the future, I'm sure, of taking dabs or smoking concentrates. You have your vape pen, and this is essentially like a super high-powered vape pen. They vaporize in different ways. They have these chambers. I mean, it's what dabbing is, essentially. You're just vaporizing hash um, or concentrate and getting the smoke out of it at a pretty constant temperature. You don't want to scorch it. You don't want to, like, undercook it and waste all your product. And this is sort of the science that kind of meets in the middle between lighting a torch and eyeballing it and being a fucking barbarian savage and being sort of like, hey, soccer moms, do y'all want to come over and hit the fucking Puffco after we drop the boys off? Or party at my house. It's a minimalist design. Looks like I thought of Ikea. You don't want to get a torch out, possibly break your $3,000 piece. Bring this one out. This is like your Billy Bong Thornton. You know, you bring this one out for special occasions. Maybe you have this for your 
your clumsy friends. I don't know what your situation is, but that's what I'm saying. This is your party pipe. Simple as that. Travel pipe, party pipe, they're like 300, 400 bucks. They have different colors now. They have ones that light up, all kinds of shit. This is like Dreamline technology. More companies out there. Dr. Dabber sent me one. Dr. Dabber sent me an older model. They haven't sent me the one that is comparable to this. I don't know if they will. I haven't talked to anyone over there in a while, but they're in competition with each other. But this is like the newest, latest and greatest from Puffco, which is the peak. So this works pretty simple to turn it on. You have to hold the button for a few seconds. It's like three seconds, I think. It lights up like that. There are multiple settings. You just hit the button one time to show settings. Green is the lowest setting. Wait, that's not true. Uh, you have blue is the lowest setting and then red and then white which is the hottest blue being the lowest green in the middle red hot white hot so what's different about this normally you heat it up uh, well it's not different than a vaporizer because you put product your concentrate in first same thing here so we're gonna put that in first you have to put it on the bottom you don't want to like put it on the sides because the heat element i'm assuming just heats evenly from the bottom so i put a dab in there that's way too big for this thing usually i think like this size i don't know if that's really gonna focus because i can't see shit. I drop it down in there hit it towards the bottom let it sit in the bottom and then you take the topper that comes with it i like the white setting the hottest setting my dab is usually larger so the heat is what I want. To start the dab while you, or to start the heating, you're gonna double click, flash the color, and then it'll give you a little vibrate and another triple flash when it's ready. There it goes. We're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're still cooking. It's only been like 20 seconds though. About to take. Oh, there it goes. So then you take your dab. It's pretty nice, man. It's nice and smooth, clean, same temperature every time keeps the product like intact that'll turn off but this mode you can just heat it back up if your product's still in there so you don't have to waste it it'll heat back up you can get it all so the same as any other traditional nail you just take a q-tip clean out the rest whoa, whoa. you got excess you can use a little alcohol and that's it boom bam and you can turn it off you leave it on it charges with a regular usb micro usb and that's pretty much it like that, that, that's it that's how it works it's dope. I love it. I mean, I honestly didn't think I was going to like it. Not usually like my favorite thing. My only real critique is you can't take giant dabs, but that's most people would probably take a smaller dab. So for small dabs, travel, discreetness, um, it's perfect. Like it's a great little thing. I haven't had any problems with it. Some people say they have faulty units. I guess that's technology. Hopefully Puffco takes care of you. If you have an issue, I'm sure that they do. But um, yeah, it's been been great. Like, it's awesome. I love it. I'll probably take it to New York instead of like an expensive rig, um, honestly. With one of these rigs, people is I can't get the same hit. I can't get the same hit. Probably not. You're not gonna get the same hit out of this as you do this for a few reasons. Uh, one, the temperature control is down to an exact degree. We're always eyeballing a little bit. What'd I do with that janky ass nail? Nails are super expensive. I mean, that atomizer is 50 bucks, so that will rack up too. But nails, a good nail, 100 bucks, 200 bucks, easily. They can get fucked up easily. Uh, even if you know what you're doing, you get lazy, you get stoned, you fuck it up. Glass, expensive, can break, same shit, but both have their pros and cons. I mean, this you definitely can get a bigger hit out of. The function of the glass, the different kinds of functions that people get, amazing. The artistry of the glass, amazing. Even though there are people making uh, custom custom pieces for these already as well. But I do find like the traditional dab rig, which is funny to say, um, cause dab rigs aren't even like really that old. I do like this, but like I said, uh, this is this is also great, convenient, faster. If I'm running late for something, this is gonna happen faster than the other one. But you can drop way more wax into it. You probably also waste a lot more wax and you also probably vary the temperature you take your dab. So it will change, but um, I like them both, man. Like I don't, I both have their, they're both great. Like one thing about different pipes is hitting different pipes creates like a different high. I know that sounds weird, but it is true. I didn't used to believe it myself, but it's true. So do what you will. I'd say if you got 500 bucks to spend, this is probably your best investment as far as function goes. But I don't know a lot about lower end glass, not to sound like a snob, like any low end glass I've got has been pretty shitty and just kind of like whatever. Things that have been made for me have all been functioned like really well. So I I'm kind of don't have a great 
I don't know. I don't know what it's worth. People always ask me what's worth. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's worth to you. It's worth it to you, it's worth it to you. But just to show you, I'll take another dab for science here. Butane, buying butane all the fucking time. This one's gonna run out. So that's another. Burning yourself. You're gonna burn yourself on this one more likely than the other one. I'm sure someone has figured out how to burn themselves on the Puff Co, but I haven't done it yet. Pros and cons, man. Life, dog. Life is pros and cons. And you gotta figure out or you fit in between them. To like get away with some shit in your dorm room, this is probably not the way to go. If someone walks in and you have a torch lit, they're gonna think you're a crackhead. They just kinda go hand in hand. Or that you're making creme brulee. Creme brulee crackhead. Old creme brulee crackhead. So you gotta let that cool. By the way, we're smoking Ecto Cooler. Diva Dominant Hybrid. Let that cool for a second. Cooling. I like to hold it next to my face to feel the heat. Just probably not the smartest move. Speaking of which, I don't think I set a timer for those peppers. That's an issue. We should probably go check on them. <laughs> All right. I didn't burn them. They're perfection. So I better go charge the car. So what I'm gonna do is, in the vlog now, drop footage on my computer and edit in the car while it charges. Supercharger is getting installed in the house uh, Thursday and hopefully the car is, <laughs> you know, working and back and doing its thing by then and we don't just have a supercharger for no reason. All right, see y'all tomorrow.